Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is a Builder Hall video talking about upgrades at Builder Hall 4 and which buildings are important to upgrade, which ones aren't as important. So I'm going to give you guys the short and the long version. The short version for those of you guys in a hurry who just want the gist of it. The things I recommend upgrading and prioritizing um, towards the beginning of the upgrade process at Builder Hall 4 are the clock tower, your traps, your cannons, your archer towers, and your storages. Um, the things I do not recommend upgrading till you get later on are the walls, the crusher, the air bomb spawner, the barracks, and the new troop upgrades such as the baby dragon and the um, bomber in the laboratory, and the guard post. So um, that's it, five yes, five no's. Now I'm gonna explain a little bit more in depth as to why I give those recommendations. So first I'll just kind of go through the list here, starting off with the clock tower, which is a really important upgrade to do. Basically the clock tower, you go into it starting with a five minute boost. Um, it does times 10 on your production of your troops of the upgrade that your builder's doing, of the research in the laboratory, and of the, um, the production of resources. Those are all very valuable, and it's important to get that up to the maximum 12 minutes for Builder Hall 4. Basically, um, it might not seem like a good investment right when you start, but once the upgrade times start to get longer, once they start to get close to a day, um, you're going to really feel the... Uh, the benefit of having a clock tower that um, that can get the boost for longer because that 12 minutes takes off, if you multiply it out 12 times 10, that is uh, 120 minutes or two hours, basically in the period of uh, 12 minutes, or yeah, 12 minutes, um, you get two hours worth of upgrades done uh, with the builder, two hours worth of upgrades in your laboratory, all that gets done at 10 times speed, not to mention the resources and all that other good stuff. So definitely a thing you want to get done early. Um, at the beginning of Builder Hall 4, it might not be as important because the upgrade times are quicker and you might not feel yourself needing to use the boost as much. Um, your builder might be uh, dormant for certain periods of time, especially overnight or whatever. But um, once you start to get into it, as I'm starting to right now, you get uh, closer to mid to max Builder Hall 4, it's going to really be nice to have that clock tower upgraded ahead of time so you can get those um, upgrades uh, banged out a lot faster. Uh, the next one, I'm going to all kind of pull them all together, are the traps. The giant bomb, the uh, smaller bombs, I guess they're called mines in the Builder Hall mode, the spring traps, and the push traps all important to get upgraded because they're all really quick and they all can have a very good effect. You place them in uh, parts of your uh, base that are weak and because the base is so small uh, relative to your normal village, the traps are really effective because you can look and see weak points of your uh, base and move the traps accordingly. Um, that's how you optimize a good base and make it a great base is adjusting where the traps are. So um, the mines can do a significant amount of damage to archers, to barbarians, if you get them upgraded a few levels. Same with the spring trap, if you upgrade it just that one time that you're able to, you get it up to 10 spring capacity. That's huge, it can do two giants. So um, definitely things to do. You can do them when you have time between uh, big upgrades if you don't have the resources to do a big upgrade. So don't rush them right away. They shouldn't be like the first thing you do, but one of the earlier upgrades definitely for those traps. Um, next is the cannon. Um, the cannon is a hugely underrated defense. It has a significant amount of range and it does quite a bit of damage. Um, it does nine, uh, or it has a nine tile range that's compared to the archer tower, which on the longer range mode has 11 tiles, so not a huge difference. It does 83 DPS at max compared to 48 DPS for that Archer Tower, so um, almost twice as much DPS as the Archer Tower with just a slightly smaller range. Now it doesn't target the air troops, but people don't tend to use baby dragons or minions much at Builder Hall 4, um, at least not where I am, so uh, it's definitely a good thing to get upgraded because it can take out those ground troops that much faster. It can take out the archers faster with that extra range, and hand in hand, upgrade the Archer Tower as well. Um, not quite as important as the cannon, but it'll help you defend against uh, the sniping of archers. It'll basically just make um, 
troops go down just a little bit faster. You want to upgrade these these ranged defenses first, the archer tower and the cannon, um, because they're what's going to be covering your base. Now, um, this should go without saying, put your archer tower on the longer range mode. It's been um, shown that the shorter range is only good at Builder Hall 5 in certain situations, not Builder Hall 4 and below. Um, you just don't have enough coverage and each building is just too valuable to uh, to give up that range and allow people to, to snipe more free buildings. So keep them on the range. Um, and finally, finally, the last thing I recommend are the storages. Um, the storages are a great idea to get upgraded because that way you don't run into running out of room and having resources wasted because they can't fit after you win a battle. Get them upgraded ahead of time and um, it might feel like kind of a useless upgrade at first, but you won't have that pain as you go on later. Same with the clock tower. The storage is clock tower. Get them done relatively early and you won't have to feel the pain that a lot of people will from either waiting for upgrades or not being able to hold all the loot they earn. Okay, the five things I recommend waiting on. The walls, this should go without explaining. Um, it's just one or two more punches from a giant. Really, that's the only troop that has to go through your walls. Um, the barbarians, a few extra swings. It's not worth it. You're going to have trouble predicting where they're going to be coming in the base. I shouldn't have to explain it. Don't upgrade your walls um, until maybe towards the end if you want to. Walls seem to be pretty unimportant uh, in the Builder Hall mode, at least in the Builder Hall 4 levels. Once you start to get up there, maybe it's more important. I, I don't know. But uh, don't do the walls um, anytime soon at Builder Hall 4. But obviously build the new walls. You should build all your new stuff, of course. But this is for upgrading. Um, the Crusher. And people might not uh, think this is a good idea. But the Crusher already is pretty effective. If you have a level 2 Crusher, that might be all you need. At least for the first half of Builder Hall 4. Maybe more. Because it's enough to scare people away. They're not going to come at your Crusher. Um, and it allows you to attack more because it's not upgrading. So you can... Uh, if you don't have a Crusher, your base is very susceptible and you can't really attack for a while. So um, it allows more attacks, but even more importantly, it's just not worth it. It's not necessary. People aren't gonna come at your crusher anyways, and uh, it's already very powerful at level two. Don't worry about upgrading it to level three and four until you get uh, close to max. Same thing with the air bomb spawner. Also very powerful. Um, if you have a decently laid out base with the archer towers on the extended range with a firecracker also in there, um, Air troops aren't powerful enough. The air bomb spawner is powerful enough. It's a very effective um, defense. It does a lot of damage even at level 1. Don't worry about upgrading it um, too soon. And uh, last two here, the barracks and new troops. Now, I might get pushed back on this one as well, but I don't recommend upgrading your barracks and getting the baby dragons and the bombers and starting to upgrade them in the lab as quickly as possible. I recommend just going upgrading your archers, your barbarians, your giants, focusing on them because that's what you already have at a somewhat decent level going into Builder Hall 4. That's what you should focus on. Then uh, once you get a little bit later on, uh, start to incorporate the new troops, get them unlocked, get them upgraded. But um, for the first half of your journey, it's going to be archers, it's going to be giants, and it's going to be barbarians. So uh, all those things are what you're going to be using at the beginning. It's probably a waste of uh, troops to try to spread things out too much and get the other stuff up to speed. Worry about it later. Focus on what you can use right away, which are the troops you already have. Finally, the guard post. Um, this one really won't do a whole lot if you upgrade it. I mean, obviously, it will make it a little bit better, um, but it's it's pretty much negligible. The main power of the guard post is it, dr is it draws the aggro of troops. It makes them... Uh, rush in to attack them or it makes them chase them into the base whatever um, so it's not really the power of the level of the troops so upgrading your guard post is only going to basically bring the level of your troops up it might add a unit but that doesn't really matter either um, it's not worth it compared to what else you could be upgrading with that money um, so i hope that all makes sense basically those are my thoughts the five yeses, the five noes of Builder Hall 4 upgrading. I wanted to make this video because I thought it could definitely help you guys. But um, if it doesn't apply, I apologize. I have more videos coming out over the next few days. Had a little bit of a drop in activity, but going to be back to it with some more Clash videos coming at you guys very soon. So stick around for those. And thank you guys for watching this one. Hope you like the replays in the background. See you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.